<laughs> this conference will now be recorded. All right, we welcome everybody. Marion County Commission meeting, March 20th. Guess we begin with public comments. Any public comments? Doesn't look like there's anyone no. online unmuting a mic and no one in the room. <coughs> All right, commission, our commission. Agenda approval. We will add uh, citizen concern at 145. Are there any other additions or changes to the agenda? If not, the agenda will stand approved. And we will move into administrative business. had a chance to review minutes of March 13th. Any additions or corrections? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. We have a motion to approve from Commissioner Gehring. Is there a second? Second. Second, Commissioner Becker. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carried 5-0. basically a new resolution mm -hmm. for the 2023 elected official salary. But the only change on this, besides the wording at the top, is to change the sheriff's salary for this calendar year based on the action that you took to change the wage. So that new amount on the resolution for the sheriff is an annualized prorated amount effective March 13th of the new salary and prior to the at the Previous salary. Salary. And so, since you set those wages by resolution, um, I just want to give you a new resolution, which would be 2023 07. Okay. Any comments? If not, is there a motion to approve resolution 2023 07? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Gehring. Is there a second? Second, that. second, Commissioner Profit. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion carried 5 0. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Check the box. have some salary sheets. Two of them are uh, based on 
actions taken for two, two department head positions at the last meeting, and then the third one is for a new employee. Okay. <clears throat> Park and Lake Department, a salary change for Isaac Head from $3,922 per month to $4,252 per month, uh, effective March 13th, reasons increased duties. change for planning and zoning director Sharon Olmsted from $4,595 per month to $5,891 per month effective March 13th. The reason is increased duties. And we have a new employee in planning and zoning, Jesse Thurvanel. Thank you. $3,026 per month beginning March 1st. New planning, zoning, and health technician. strip of property that the county owns in between two parcels out at the county lake. We received this in a tax sale several years ago <coughs> and my recommendation would be to for the Board of Commissioners to take action to transfer that uh, piece of property that's county owned to the Marion County Lake to me. So moved. We have a motion from Commissioner Garing to transfer a six foot strip of property to okay. that has a legal description. And then there's the tax ID. Tax ID is CEL 0105A uh, from the county to the Marion County Land Bank. This is a motion by Commissioner Gearing. Second. Second by Commissioner Crowfoot. Discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion carried 5 0. purchasing some teddy bears for um, emergency management and I 
have these are three different bids I'll just pass these around it's just in the early stages um, what I'm looking for is your recommendation on um, oh they're all they're all three different bids oh um, we need something in the county for fifth graders to preschoolers um, that we would like to kind of promote preparedness, safety, things like that. Um, this is one of the things when I was talking to some elementary school students that they liked. Um, so this is where this came from. Um, and there are some different pricing and things like that. But I'm looking for ideas on what you guys think you might, we might do to kind of encourage preparedness in the elementary school age. Um, this idea <coughs> came up because one of the things is on the front of the bear you can actually put I can help you with through the storm or something like that on the front of it mm -hmm. and then it would go along with the presentation about preparedness kits mm -hmm. we would use this kind of for um, when we're going out to presentations like safe kids day that's coming up mm -hmm. on May 4th or something along those lines um, but there's not a lot of out there for the elementary school mm -hmm. that we were looking at. And so, you know, I can, for the middle school and the high school, I can look at actual preparedness kits for like right. a vehicle right. or something like right. that. But um, we're trying to look at something for the elementary school. So mm -hmm. uh, I just had that idea. I wanted to, you know, I'm in the early stages of looking at it. But if you have any ideas, suggestions, something else that might work, um, somebody <coughs> mentioned um, sending out bubbles, but I don't know how preparedness that would be and more cleanup. So, yes, cleanup. Yeah, and the f in case you're wondering about funding, because I knew you were going to ask me about that one, um, we're looking at paying that through the grant line from the grant money that we got in. So that's where the funding would come from. It wouldn't come out of sure. like the regular EM budget or anything like that. It would just be looking at. Um, grant funds for mm -hmm. so. do, uh, do all the schools know Hillsborough used to, but as they pencil boxes. Pencil boxes, okay? They, they, they would ask that they bring pencil boxes, and you could, every kid would have pencil boxes for their, just to keep them in one place. But I don't know that all schools do that. Um, oh, that's a good one. Do they even use pencils anymore? No. <laughs> then, uh, well, preparedness for when the power is out, the computer's down, you're going to need a pencil and pad of paper. Um, pencil and big chief tablet rulers. There's a good idea. Okay. I'm just trying to think practical school that they, they'd have to keep it. You know? I want that one that you flip and it wraps around you. That ruler? Yeah. Yeah. The slap uh, brace. The slap brace. Slap brace. I had this. <laughs> yeah. You flap it. Yeah. yeah. Those, but those usually break real fast. Or, or kids get in trouble. With it. What's your thought on this about little children if they're scared in a storm? Well, what I've used it for, um, Randy had some bears and we were cleaning out stuff, we found some. And I did it, I have, um, I kind of make it known out there if you have a child that's scared, mm -hmm. especially during thunderstorms, bring them in and I'll do a little thing with them. Well, one of the things that I do is um, I sit them down and I explain the storms. We, there's, I have like a little video that they watch on wind, and one that they watch on lightning, and one that they watch on thunderstorms, things like that, and explain a little bit. And usually with the children, I have them, they feel better when they're a little bit in control. So I say that, you know, why don't you be the one that does your storm shelter? You go and you can decorate it, you can put, They've got the battery operated LED lights that you can put down there that are just an on and off switch on the battery thing. Um, they decorate it with blankets and stuffed animals and things like that during a storm. And then when they hear that you have to go down into the shelter, go grab everybody and go down together and grab your bear, take it down with you and he's there with you during the storm. So that's kind of what I've been doing. It's worked pretty well with the kids that I've done that with, but we were, I'm getting low on those bears. So. <laughs> um, that's why I was looking for other ideas, suggestions, something that might work. Um, and I've asked several other departments too. Mm -hmm. I, I would prefer not to do something that 
Um, another community group is doing mm -hmm. something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking at. So um, that's kind of where I'm at on that one. But I like your ideas. Notebook or the, I don't know, the notebooks. No, all kids got to bring notebooks anymore still. They, well, I'm they just trying to do, do it when purpose. they get older. Yeah. You know, parents mm -hmm. have to buy this every year for all these age groups. And, and if you could take one item off their list and school supply list. Yeah. Uh, look oh, at that. There could be multiple things on the yeah. school supply list, maybe. You know, wooden pencils, you can put different messages on different pencils. But you can get your, your uh, job duties across and help the communities mm -hmm. same way. Dual purpose. So you're just doing individuals. You're not doing a whole class. Yeah. Um, my goal is to actually do it at all seven schools. So all seven school districts, I'd go out to the elementary schools and do the, uh, do a presentation and hand out this information to the students. Um, I mean, not everybody's getting a bigger than No. Okay. No, there'd be like a drawing for okay. that. Okay. Um, that grant that I don't have that much. <laughs> um, so no, it'd be more of like a drawing type of thing, or just use it at certain events yeah. or things like that. So again, a great idea. Well, thanks, and I appreciate your help with this. So, oh, uh, that's it. That's all I have. You just wanted to see you throw them at each other. You buy, buy more erasers and throw it each oh. erasers. <laughs> well, and it you also bought, came up the little squishy squishy the, ones. Yeah. Yes, yes, those came up that, too. Use that, throw it each other. They ended up, I don't know if you've seen it, but they ended up like, more expensive than those teddy bears. Mm -hmm. Those oh, things really? were pricey. Yes. Wow. So that that kind of went by the wayside. Uh, how about an update on the Fury on the, the storm meeting? I'm sorry, I oh. didn't attend because oh, the yeah. blizzard hit. No, I didn't either. I mean, um, it was snowing like crazy. Even though I got a reminder and I forgot. And did you see it sent up too? One the day before or one the day before? Yes, you did. Um, yes, the storm you. Fury went well. We are doing it again tonight in oh. Burns. I got permission from the National Weather Service for those that couldn't make it on Thursday. Mm -hmm. We're doing it tonight um, at That's the great. Burns Fire Station tonight. Excellent. Um, National Weather Service, we're going to use their content, but I'll be doing the presenting. Okay. So, um, but I did get permission to do that. We had about 70 people nice. um, at Tabor Thursday night. National Weather Service said it was a really good presentation. They were happy with the turnout, good. very happy with the questions. Mm -hmm. um, I actually approached the, um, the group about piloting a home spotter program. Mm -hmm. And I also asked National Weather Service mm -hmm. about doing that. And they actually have a database. They are going back, and Vanessa from the National Weather Service is going to give me any time anybody's reported anything to National Weather Service from Marion County, mm -hmm. she's going to give me a list of those names. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can include them as well. Good. So. Do I have to start from scratch? Yes, it's kind of <laughs> nice. And we did get, I did get um, 12 volunteers who want to do the home spot one. Great. Might be a program we get to start. Well, great. I knew it would be a good good session. I just we had to have a blizzard. <laughs> well, and it was kind of appropriate that night. I mean, you think about it. He got to use the yeah, example whatever. of what a storm system can bring. So, right, right. It's good. Well, I'm glad you had a really good turnout. Yes. Any other open business? Um, the fire chiefs. That it was mentioned this weekend actually from some different incidents they're going to work on possibly redoing the county burn resolution oh, yes yeah. i'm glad to hear that yes um, Thank you. because with the current dry conditions our burn resolution is from 2017 and it needs to be updated with the kind of current conditions yep. we have going on Good. this year Good. So they are going to use a mm -hmm. national index, of course, which the National Weather Service puts out the grassland fire danger index. Mm -hmm. So that's what would be used. It wouldn't be like a, a county index because okay. we don't have a weather station here. Right. right. Um, so that is something that's going to be brought up at the next fire chiefs meeting. Good. I'd, I'd like for that to come from there, but we do need. Oh to, yeah. We do need to revise it. And, and historically, it's always come from. Um, we work in coordination with Tina to write it, but because I don't know a particular language, but right. it's I'm, based yeah. on what they recommend. Very good, excellent. All right, 
Um, and we'll move into your evaluation, the fun part. Okay. <laughs> Marcy, I move that we recess an executive session in order to discuss personnel performance department mid evaluation pursuant to KSA 75 4319 b item one personnel manners, non elected personnel with the commission and Marcy. Uh, let's do 10 minutes, uh, 1253 to 103. Second by Commissioner Dalkey. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carried 5 0. We'll be back at 103. Sorry, Brad. <coughs> Hopefully you've got plenty of time to write it. Yeah. It's not it. Literally, I do weather radios. Yeah. I don't have anything for my young ones. Mm -hmm. so. This That's conference the will now be recorded. All right, we are out of executive session. No decisions made. Yeah. The next item on our agenda will be a discussion on the 1240 commercial property. Bryce needs to stand in front of Bryce, you Bryce chair. chair. You guys are up. <laughs> you get the hot seat though. Why? Because you're just going to have to be in there next anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> Might as well warm it up for yourself, huh? Ooh, Might as well warm it for yourself. I'm going to get behind you real quick to grab my beverage. Is there anything good? It's not Pepsi. So, yes. All right. Well, we, we've got the zoning in place now for the 1240 commercial property. It's time to talk about renovation. All righty. Six. Did you guys bring yours? Do you have the same? Did you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Different, different ones. Uh, there was a copy for each one of you stapled together. So, based on the uh, request that the commission gave us last time, we will want to see the, the front page is the plan of what we basically were looking at for new buildings or no new rooms. The second page is basically starting at the top uh, for planning and zoning emergency management road bridge. Uh, I had actually contacted three uh, general contractors uh, that would be interested in taking care of the management of those. So uh, all were recommended and had no bad things said, I mean, Mm -hmm. as far as that goes so okay. um, most of the stuff that we estimate I estimated at 3,100 square feet that's gonna be pretty close to the inside uh, dimensions so based on coming up with all that um, the obviously the biggest hits that we don't really have an exact amount for would be the HVAC and electric mm -hmm. so those numbers there were given by local contractors as it should not go above that now with that being said we'd have to figure out zoning things to that effect if we're going to use um, any of the existing stuff or whatever else um, so those are obviously the two big hits as far as the red numbers uh, the furnishings as well as the parking lot out front obviously any work we did to the parking lot would be a very uh, costly endeavor so our thought was that's probably something that we could we could forego until successive years do a little bit of time something to that effect uh, obviously we want to try to give a, a, a good access as, as we can up to the pavement um, i don't foresee an awful lot of people um never, i should say never know how many people would come to visit mm -hmm. um, we have the handicap stall out front that um that we could still take care of there is a ramp into mm -hmm. the building mm -hmm. well that's what with the conference room yes there would be some meetings yes there, so yeah at those times you yeah um i was going to go out the last week and actually find the see if there's any property pins out there i did not uh, based on the information from when the um, appraisal was done the property does go farther west than what the fence and whatever else is there but i don't know for sure until i find that so um you know going through there 
the framing we're going to use a lot of the existing walls or maybe half ish of the walls that are still there so uh, sheetrock was a was a pretty good quantity that included the, the sheetrock was um, labor and materials uh, obviously plumbing there's not much to move uh, just the bathrooms in there making sure the handicap accessible paint we plan on doing the painting while maybe even before the doors were put in basically we can spray the whole thing we were looking at one color you know just to get a stand if if each department or whatever else wanted to do an accent wall whatever you want to call it that's something that they could do you know it's not not a real big expense um, flooring was a uh, price for obviously um, uh, labor and materials uh, and that was on the high end uh, we could go anywhere from uh, concrete floors to tile to carpet and everything in between that eight dollars would pretty much cover it other than probably doing a stained concrete or something to that effect so uh, obviously pros or cons all the way around between concrete very durable wooden or easily cleaned uh, carpet is obviously quieter and more 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 maintenance um, talking about the, any kind of windows we change you know roughly five hundred dollars a piece for each vinyl we may want to move some around obviously add some probably in the back uh, where the offices are um, doors uh, we can probably reuse most of the doors that are up there just as long as we make sure that they're the right facing the right size things like that for rough in uh, exterior doors uh, there's a possibility that if the two doors that are up there we could reuse them um, I don't know what to be like when we get them out but that's obviously an option so that would save a little bit um, the insulation in the walls uh, we weren't for sure if it was two by four or two by six uh, but that amount uh, on either one of those would cover um, that or blown in I was discouraged from using spray-in foam uh, because of building codes was not aware of this haven't checked into it just found out this morning that um, that has a flash point that that's what I was told um, that that may be an issue for building codes for a government slash commercial building flashpoint when they're spraying. Uh, well, and, and that's just what said was if it catches fire at that flashpoint, it's just yeah. real quick. But anyway, and obviously the, the spray the spray foam, I did not get a uh, um, good price on it, uh, but obviously I think the labor savings would be better, would be more than just putting in the bats. But anyway, uh, fairly confident I, I could check into that blown in as well. Getting the walls and ceilings insulated out there? Well, by the time by the time we go in there and get rid of, we, we don't know to tell you the truth. We would assume yeah. they would, um, but um, it's going to speed up all your other trades if you just gut and get it down to studs and yeah. move. Yeah, especially with electrical removal, we'll have to do because that electrical is just but, either by labor or by insulation. Yeah, uh, insulation yeah. is right. Yeah. Um, so anyway, but but like I said, we're we're. We, we've looked at these and we feel confident that we would not go over these amounts. But again, um, but the, the ceiling, we could either go with bats uh, through, the, um, through the trusses or probably the better thing would just be to do the blown in insulation and make sure that we keep our soffits open because you're gonna get a lot more insulation by using that than you would with the bats. And I would think your labor would be a lot less as well. Um, the other the last items are security we don't really need a big security system but we probably need to have something in there just to make sure that uh, by moving the two doors the two doors from the back to the sides i think will help immensely uh, because it'll be a lot more visible for people driving by or whatever else the two doors in back uh, you just never know good point yeah so uh, obviously we talked to backup generator put in twenty thousand dollars thinking that would be plenty good for it um, and then we talked about a storm shelter uh, that if we do have, and I don't know if that comes in the building, uh, building codes or whatever else, but it would be nice to have some sort of place to send people. Uh, obviously, the size of that would be considered. And okay, what do we do if we have a big training area in there? Would we'll be able to get everybody in there? Uh, you know, I guess we got to look at the the um, percentages of what that population would be. To go in. Does EMS have one? They do not. The way I understand. Okay, so are you sure? If you guys know. Sure. I know the one that we priced was about a 20 person, yeah. 20 to 30 person wheelchair accessible. Yeah. So, 
Um, and again, I don't know if there would be any issues with codes, but I think that would be something that would work out. Is that above ground, Chairman? Yeah. Above, above ground. ground. Yeah. They just bring it in. And they actually have some that are they're not solid concrete. I don't know for sure what they were, but they actually make some out of lightweight concrete, uh, which is uh, this gets done down here reinforcing more than anything else. Uh, but anyway, so I mean, look at all that. Um, Again, you know, 325, and if you take out the two red things, the 270,000. Um, again, I think we've, we're, we're very, you know, fairly confident at those. Um, obviously, until we get an exact plan and exact numbers, that's kind of what we have. Do you two have any comments, questions? Thank you for coming. Okay. Thanks. Um, as far as as far as our local people, we've contacted. Um, uh, I'll see the building center here for stuff. Uh, we did contact um, the county seat as well as Farhouse as well as Supreme Supreme Flooring, Supreme Flooring uh, for the, you know all that stuff there. So the other question comes to play um, based on what the commission wants to do is: Do you want to go with uh, when we go to get materials and labor stuff like that? Do you want to stick with only in county? Or do you want to go with the best price? Or the other thing we look at is availability, to where the local people may or may not be able to get things back. Maybe they will. I don't know. It's you, with the freight today, you just don't know. I know because I know they kind of ran into the issue with the EMS building in Hillsboro on the insulation. So um, I guess. And, and if we got we got it local, we'd been fine. Well, they're all not local, but the first. Yeah, yeah, but. It, but anyway, so I guess we, we want a little guidance mm -hmm. there. Um, you know, obviously we, we want to encourage as much as we can locally, but just due to the, the buying power and things like that. Um, I don't know. I'm, I know a couple of these contractors that will use local. And, and like I said, we would encourage that above anything, but if it gets to the point to where you know, we're delayed by weeks or months right. or whatever mm -hmm. else then. So that has to be a balance. Yeah. Use common sense someplace in there. Well, I again I'm just saying that uh, I will tell you that we've contacted um, let's see we have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, basically electrical contractors that we've contacted and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine other contractors that would be another multi mm -hmm disciplined as well so uh, basically contacting them and said okay would you be interested they said yes okay where would you want us to send the information so we have done that as well okay. any other questions on the plan or the budget the general contractor you're planning that guy to take over in charge of what you're basically he would be our day-to-day um, -day guy make sure we're scheduling people out in front of us um, you know like I said we've done an awful lot of work I think to, to, to give the commission the benefit of the fact is um, I would this third page which we haven't got to yet is a, is a computer print of what we have right now and so it's I, I'm sorry it's a small small print but I do have that by 11 by 17 so my plan is to take that and that would be obviously our demo plan and things to that effect and then turn around and get take this plan here and basically set up an electrical plan, an HVAC plan, a plumbing plan, you know, all that stuff. And so that would basically be our set of plans. And I think um, obviously doing the amount of research we've done so far as well as um, making sure that we put as much information on there as we can to verify everything, I think we're going to um, reduce, if not totally eliminate, change orders. I'd love to say we wouldn't have any, but... Um, well, we're saying that. Yeah. There's always that. But, but re reduces the goal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So like I said, we've we put we put a, a lot of effort into it already. So mm -hmm. um you know, and I do appreciate that the fact is that uh, look at the good thing to where if we have somebody other than us three to kind of manage that day to day, obviously we still want to maintain a very active role um, in doing what we can. But um now the other thing is obviously with these three contractors, I'm guessing you probably want to go out for some sort of request. Um, for the, I don't know what you Construction do. manager. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Johnny, you're more familiar. You want to give us kind of a recommendation or yeah, just walk through what we're looking at? 
just do an RFP for construction manager at risk and throw it out to these three because they're they're the local ones. Right. And, and they'll, they'll come back with a, a proposed. This is my fee at eight percent, or this is my fee at six percent. And of course, so that you're still adding a pretty good chunk of change. You're still going to add that. Well, you get you get that for management. I mean, yeah. you know, somebody's nobody's going to do it for nothing. So. Uh, the other thing that I'd probably kind of like to do is maybe do a little bit more on the plans so that I can actually send them to them and say, okay, this is what we've done so far, knowing that they're not going to have to put forth as much effort. And then they also know that they don't have to talk with an architect. Right. Just an engineer. Right. Yeah, just a, just a, just a. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put that on. Just, like, just a lawyer, you know. Uh, take a step <laughs> yeah. back. Uh, again, this is for my, I'm, my understanding, okay, we've got several different sections or subcontractors. So, like uh, the HVAC system, there needs to be a bid. If your construction manager, would he take the bids and then make the selection, or does each each sub thing have to come to the commission? No, no, everything would go through the uh, the GPC. Right. It's like a GPC, right? Yeah, and and that's what we were looking at too. Right. Is to, is to go ahead and take care of that stuff so that we wouldn't have to come into you guys all the time. But right. it would. It would which sort of the process anyway. Yeah, the only the only thing is if uh, sometimes owners are involved, like they, if they have certain preferences, then they, they 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 review it. But if the GC says these are my recommendations, a lot of times the owners just go with that. Okay, we know we've got an emergency management director. We know we've got a road and bridge, and we've got a Sharon setting in here. Mm -hmm. So each one of them, are they going to design their rooms so that the, are they going to, so that their equipment and stuff that, you know, is, is met. You don't want to move in, well, I can need another plug-in over here. I mean, yeah. it's just, uh, that, that's. That's why that plan ahead of time. Yeah. Um, the, the, elect the electrical especially, you've got, well, and we talked about, I talked to the, obviously the Lloyd with data said to try to work it up to like put it in the electrical bid, you run the data cables while you're doing. It's almost almost the same approach. And the security. Yep, yep. So again, all that stuff being planned ahead of time. And obviously we've already talked about, you know, what we would like to have and, um, you know, within reason. I mean, you don't want to have a plug in every four foot, but yet you want to have plug-ins in, well, <laughs> plug in the appropriate places. Yes. You know, be where your desk going to be. Uh, you know, the other thing we talked about furnishings, we just had a number in there, but again, you don't know until you exactly know what you're going to put in there. Um, I know I, I wouldn't have any problem with my corner desks and stuff I'd have down there in that office up there. Still good shape, it's just a matter of moving it. Um, so, you know, again, the other thing we look at is once we get, we get in there and whatever else, then the other things we can look at down the road as well. You know, like the parking lot or maybe you know, and they can put it more towards the individual budgets, individual department budgets. Mm -hmm. um, you thought about a phone system? Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, we originally start, started out with 13 different phones, and uh, Marcy said she really doesn't doesn't need one. Um, uh, Sharon would probably two lines. I think we talked about three. Uh, we've already talked with Vive about internet. We can get one one gig fiber. Voice over IP. Yep. Yep. Uh, that would include, I think it was uh, 500 and some, 500, 500 well, you got high speed in there, out there. No. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fiber. Yeah. It's fiber. Fiber. Yeah. yeah. And so, like I said, it's just a matter of, of getting that in there, talk to Lloyd about that stuff. Another thing that was that was brought up, I can't remember if it was, I think it was Marcy that actually brought it up. We would like to uh, basically incorporate in the conference room, uh, basically in floor, electrical and data communications. So as part of the electrical, we would have to you know, cut, the concrete. cut the concrete, but everything we're going to today requires you know, laptops and everything else and data lines. Um, so we thought that would be a good thing and they would be, cut, they would be basically service mounted and covered up. So uh, if and when we didn't use the tables, we, we had talked about getting that, what are they, 18 inch tables, the half tables with chairs. So you'd be able to put more people in there he didn't need that for like when Sharon has a um, planning and zoning meeting, she could rearrange things. Well, they would just we just cover those up. And a little bit of so you know, a, lot, a lot more versatility. Yes, and of course we would have uh, Wi-Fi out there as well. But it, it, it was, 
direct connections, especially if it would come into an emergency situation where obviously the plugged in connections are going to be faster than what would be Wi Fi. So, um, more secure too. Yes. Um, so, uh, what am I forgetting, ladies? <laughs> great. Yeah. Take, great. take a breath. We've got a lot of commission questions yeah. coming from commissioners. What are we tapping into for funding? Well, since this planning and zoning and road and bridge are there, it would seem appropriate to use wind, wind proceeds or pilot payments. Uh, they've put in a tremendous amount of their time in the past two, three years on the wind project. I've and I'm, this is just my opinion. I would see it be appropriate. Yeah, I, just, I, was, I was always curious about that. Yeah, uh, it seems like a very appropriate use. Emergency management fall into our ARPA. Right. All of our ARPA, we ended up doing is revenue replacement. Okay. Um, but we did initially, we, we bought that building with the intent of it being a health department, and we utilized ARPA for that. So I have to verify that whether we're going to have to pay ourselves back pay that back from county okay well, that'd be a question to, to answer but it's, uh, other questions okay did they, do you find anything else that you forgot well we just talked about the other thing was you know, I put in a, you know, obviously not know what it'd be, you know, $20,000 for demolition, but we all kind of talked some months ourselves, maybe we could take out some aggressions with with sledgehammers and whatever else and just, you know, just do some of it ourselves. But, you know, that was beside the point. So. Okay. You could, but then usually it still costs. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy gets yeah. But we feel better because yeah. we've done a wellness program. It's also yeah. therapy and that's yes. worth. Yeah, that's worth, that's price. Right some places. Yes. But anyway, like I said, it's so. It looks like all your budget numbers are, are running just a tad high. So I mean, I think you're you're going to be coming in under budget. Well, that's that's what we're hoping, and that's right. why we said I didn't. We, we kind of wanted to set it that way so it would come in below that. Well, so it, you may wind up right back at that same dollar amount by the time you put a commission fee on it. Yeah. And again, like I said, that we won't know that until, like I said, I kind of liked it. If, if if nothing else, you show them a plan and tell them, okay, this is what the plan is. We're going to have left the plan, you know, and I'll have a line. Well, it's, it's best. That way everybody's on the same page. Yep. It isn't, there isn't, uh, I did it this way, I did it this way. Yes, yeah. And we'll, we'll uh, you know, obviously give everybody the same same sheets, and if everybody wants everything, we can sure do that. That way you can see what everybody else had planned. Um, that's obviously the big thing is you get a fight between the, and their guys and the plumbing guys and electrical guys and another reason to have a general contractor in yeah. the middle of that. Yeah. And they have, they've all been familiar with this kind of construction. So I don't, I'd almost think with the legwork you've done and the preparation, it should be more attractive to the general. Sure. <laughs> but then again, they are dealing with the county. Right. So, uh, all right. How, how would the commission like to proceed, or do you have a recommendation on how to proceed? Again, that's I that's think, a few guys. That's okay. I think I'm, I'm personally I'm okay with the budget number. So to proceed with the other drawings, knowing that you're not going to get shut down, so you're not wasting effort. Right. right. I think that's what you need from the commission, right? You need to know that set a budget. We're kind of behind this and. You keep on going and That's what we're make some drawings. Right. I'm, I'm there. Okay. Do we, do we set a budget with that? Or? Yeah. Are these, all these GCs local? Yes. Yeah, one's out of Burns. One's out of Burns. One's out of Marion. One's out of Hillsborough. Yeah. And, and then again, if there's somebody else that somebody, know, you know, we have no problem. We're just. And then. Say so, Lane, but he's, he's, he's underwater. Okay. So would the process be the whatever time frame Bryce needs to finish the drawings mm -hmm. and bring them back to the board and then at that time approve the drawings and approve the RFP to go out to the G general contractors for me? Does, does he need more time before going out for the RFP? 
Well, you'd have to have the drawings. Okay. You. Right. I mean. You might be able to get a GC to give you an RFP well, off yeah. those two drawings. I mean, and, and, and like I said, I, if I specify the electrical, plumbing, HVAC, whatever else, and those specs, I mean, just to show them that we've put forth a lot of effort. It's just a matter of managing what we've come up with. But that's again, that's up to you guys. I mean, so. Every every room's going to have that. Uh, and yep. electricity mm -hmm. in every wall. Yeah, the right. electrical diagram. I mean, yeah. You have to have duct yeah. vents out of yeah. every every office, every hall. Yeah. Well, and, and then like with the lights, you know, we originally talked about trying to work, work with what we have and whatever else. And said, now we can't just go in and gut the whole place and start over. Right. We put sheetrock back on the ceiling, so we would, um, you know, the cost of doing that I think would still be less than the suspended ceiling. Yeah. But we'd have to deal with surface lights <coughs> or or pot lights, whatever they are. But it's just a little bit more prep. But, uh, but anyway, um, so. What's motion textures add to? Motion? Not, Not much. Um, and, and like the other it's, thing. It's more about convenience. Like offices typically is kind of a problem. People tend to, you know. Keep you, you, you don't, yeah, you don't have a lot of movement, <laughs> so then it shuts <laughs> off on you. I, yeah, that's a little bit of a bad you know, bathrooms is a good, good yeah. place to put them because, you know, that people are usually in. Well, and it's actually a double thing. It turns on when you get there, and then if, it, if not, nobody's in there, it shuts off automatically, yeah. too. Time's up. Yeah. Yeah, I said it's a bit Okay. Um, well, Commissioner Gary, you're more familiar with the process. What's your, what would you recommend? Um, I mean, I, if, you, if you're good to go, I'd go ahead and get RFPs, but... I, from the GCs, and see where they come in at, <coughs> and then go ahead and keep proceeding with the drawings. This work. Mm -hmm. I would think so because yeah. normally at risk, they, they typically jump in. Um, the GC will jump in at uh, when bonding time for like schools, and they're kind of there through the whole drawing process and everything. They they kind of know what the, the number is going to be, so they are already been selected. Well, and the other thing that I could do is maybe bring all three of them in at one time. And we, we basically sit down with them, just walk through this. And, you know, I, I like the fact is we've kind of taken the idea of the more information we have, the better. Mm -hmm. Because if that, that uh, uncertainty costs you time and money, yeah. all the way around. It might well, change your plans on you. Well, you I mean, you know, the, to say these are exact plans, I mean, that sometimes all things will change a little bit. but. Not enough to make a difference. So it always makes a difference. Well, but you know what I'm saying is major. If you're going to move a move a uh, wall six inches without first putting it in, then it's it's not a big deal. But you got kind of have a shared printer. Yes, that's there. what the work workspace was there in the front corner. Okay. Yeah. For the spot away. Yep. Yeah. And we'd have we'd have benches on both sides, and we'd have all the we store all the paper and everything in there at one time, and just have it. Other than to say that we may have a personal printer at our office instead of walking on with your, that's funding. We're not talking a little bit of money for that. So. I would, uh, I would suggest <clears throat> foregoing the furnishings at first, because uh, all your areas need to be cleaned out. Yes. So yeah. it, it'll be a dual purpose if it goes somewhere else well and and what we originally started out with is probably we could probably take care of our own individual offices the only thing we would probably need would be something out front conference and, yeah well and and the conference as well reception um reception yeah. Area. yeah and of course we had talked about said so okay maybe when you first come in that's when we have either concrete floors or tile obviously that's going to pick up most of them um then do we go to vinyl or carpet after that you know i mean there's a lot of things but that, that can all be adjusted as well too. So. Yeah, in the intercom, you just cut holes in the walls and talk to each other. We got cups. Yep. <laughs> cups, <laughs> strings, cups, cups, string. <laughs> Reach up and grab your string. <laughs> hey! That's a, there's some pretty strong voices. Would you like the treasurer's office to have open concept? Yes. You look over the well, I would hope your numbers are padded enough where we as a commission can hope we could get a some savings on this that that's what we're confident up but to because everything that i put in there i i pay for the manager you still got to pay for the manager yeah. that well, that's what i mean 
yeah. enough savings to pay for the manager and maybe a little more because yeah did you say that was about eight to ten percent yeah GC? most of them it depends how big they are it just depends who I mean, if you win at ten percent you'd be ten percent thirty two thousand five hundred dollars based on the top number yeah so again i i, I mean based on what I look at the fact is that I, I think we've done enough effort that I don't don't think it'd be that much because it's really not going to take much other than just making sure these guys are there. And so, and again, we want to we want to try to stay as active as we can to help out because you know, we've already we've already made a lot of these contacts and stuff like that to where um, we'd like to have things picked out ahead. Of I mean, basically ahead of time. So, boom, here we go. And so, keep material flowing. Yep. Because that again, that and comes, keep schedules. Yeah, and and yeah. that's otherwise you got the trades stepping on each other, yes. pointing figures, and, yeah. mm -hmm. and and that um, obviously too, as we've talked about, you know, buying in in county only or bridge. Really, well, if you if you get onto it early, most people could probably get it in time. So if there's ever that issue, I definitely would want to persuade and stay in county as much as possible, or or preference. Yeah, just because. Yeah, that's the tax base that keeps this ball rolling. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally, totally agree with it. So. And more work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like I said, so that's why we've spent most of the time contacting just in county people. Other questions? I just want to caution the commission. There's another building coming up. And is it going to be another? Let's put another hundred. Well, it's already cost us one hundred fifty thousand for this building to set there, and so there's five hundred thousand. If the other building is going to be five hundred thousand, the time you build the building and put that, you got a million dollars. And, and right now we're still at at point ground zero to where, I mean, yeah, we've invested some money and so far, but and you're moving. Moving departments out here, moving departments over there, moving them everywhere. We've got ground over there that's available to build on. So I, I just, I just don't see where we're doing any planning. We're jumping, and and I think it's it's time we should have sat down and done something. And we still got time. I mean, we're if you've got a million dollars that you may spend already right next to get some buildings done, <clears throat> and going to go out there. Just long ways from long ways from putting a plan together and doing it like professionals. So I not really kept with the whole thing. I mean, it's, it's something that maybe we should have been better planners. Because you got one, two, three departments here, four departments, five departments. Here. Or, I don't know. Uh, just, is, is county tax dollars were spent? You get a lot of you get a lot of building, you get them all under one roof. I mean, it's it's within walking distance of the courthouse. <coughs> I'm just saying it's one of them things, and I know we've went a long ways already. And Bryce, you've spent some time on this. I understand that, but uh, I'm just throwing it out. So. Well, we just think about it. There's only really one question that needs to be answered. Yeah. Do we want to move toward centralized buildings, centralized building, or does it matter? Or does it matter, yeah. I mean, in the whole scheme of things, I don't know which way I lean. I mean, I look at other counties and Sometimes it's all there, and sometimes it's not even in the same town. <laughs> yeah, and I've, I've been a lot of different county courthouses, and they've got a lot more space than we can to use. Um, space has been ever since I've been here. Space has been the big issue, and and some of them have got lots of waste space, like that grand vestibule when you walk in. Well, some of your old buildings <laughs> weren't weren't actually designed designed for what we look at now that is yeah. I've been in a lot of counties that do have services for that. So we need a motion for them to proceed? Yes, I would be ready with that motion. Um, I would move that we 
approve the plan submitted by the three departments, uh, <coughs> excluding the red lines, exclude the furnishings, exclude the parking lot. So their number comes up to 270,000. I would set a budget of 300,000. Uh, and then work on finalizing your plans and proceed with the uh, RFP. RFP, thank you, for a GC. GC There's too many initials. That would be my motion. Is there you said a budget of 300,000? Yeah. Okay. Second pair? Yeah. Does that include GPC? Yes. Okay. That includes the GPC. You ready for more discussion? Uh, did I get my second? Okay, second for Commissioner Crowfoot, ready my, for discussion. My question is why do we need to go to 300 if this is padded? For the GPC. Because someone is going to have to come down and go back up. Otherwise, you're not going to get a GC. If you, don't, if you don't pad it some more, you're saying you won't get a GC? Well, no, no. I know what you're talking about. If you don't take some dollars that, right. you won't have the dollars to put back in to afford the GC. Because there's no GC number in here. That's what I'm saying. Right, yeah, I know that. I'm just saying if this is padded, we ought to have money in there to do all this and have a GC. But these for laymen making these estimates. I mean, you guys didn't go out and get bids or anything, did you? you just kind yeah. of his budgetary numbers based on square footage. And yeah, we we, we, cut, we just yeah got square foot prices based on yeah this. Don't you normally put twenty percent for contingencies? Yeah, we want twenty percent for contingencies. I know I know Bryce is really trying to keep any change orders, but I don't like contingencies. We always spend it. I've never seen a time we didn't spend the contingency. Yeah. And well, I mean, I think you just you need to have a hard line and say this: we've got, we're going to spend this, get the figured out the way to do it. Other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Nay. Motion carried three to two. We will proceed. Okay. We appreciate all the time and effort all three of you have put into this process. We've been working on it for over a year, I think. So we're almost ready to start. Before they all leave, <laughs> um, two things. First of all, was it who seconded? Was that Jonathan? Okay. Okay. Um, thanks. And then the county auction. Yes. So we're supposed to be doing this auction of surplus items. Yes. Like the treasurer's office just got new furniture, all their old furniture was moved over there. Because we plan to hold the sale in Hillsboro. Now we've been asked if we can just hold the sale here. So I wanted to talk about what that might look like. Okay. The sale date is April 14th. 14th. It's a Friday. Yes. So you want to do it out there? Yeah. Well, it would be less expensive yeah. than moving everything again. And we could start moving things now instead of having to wait to the week before the sale potentially and have it set up as we go if they hold the sale so, there is there liability issues well the liability for the property is us but then um auction service has their own liability their for own. themselves yeah. and for, for that but okay we plan, on, so, we plan on a live auction or just a it's a live day. auction there the the uh, treasurer's equipment is where now it's at 1240 commercial it's, it's been there. moved over there because we couldn't move it to the hills for a right. like we okay. can't move anything over there till like the week before, week before. or the week okay. of the sale. Well, well, I think, well, I think so, that would be better because what we could set it up now. Stage, well, it would be stage. better, but there may be some things that we need to consider. So, I mean, you're not going to build anything. Sharon has a call. Could I ask a question like, how long would the buyers be given to get their items and what would happen with the leftover items with the, the leftover items the auctioneers are, are supposed okay. to get rid of and the buyers would only have through the end of the weekend to pick it up okay or potentially that next monday depending on how if we had that sale in hillsborough they were going to want it out the next day because the 14th of friday it's yes. a friday the so, auction date is a friday so demolition if things move perfectly could start on this april 17th 
again, that was the only concern we right. had was getting rid of that. And right. of course, like I said, the unsold items that right. um, right. we'd have to turn on. But it sounds like everything. You know, I already had talked to them about we don't want anything back right. if it doesn't <laughs> sell. So. Um, so April seventeenth, this should be clear. And I, I think by the time we fill our stuff here, yes. Yeah. We just yeah, right right. didn't want to impede the progress of the plan, the building planning, and all of that either. But if we can save money on the actual sale, I mean, it's it's going to be helpful. It's going to be a lot yeah. easier to all just right. gradually take things over between now and then. Yes. Set it up as we go, and then we'll have that, to move it again. That would cover the the GC costs. There you go. <laughs> all the proceeds yeah. from it is the project. Right? And then the. Uh, the other thing, you know, we have a uh, stipulation on what vehicles can be parked over there. I can't imagine anybody's going to be parking anything bigger than just a trailer or a truck to pick up. No. It has to be a, a light passenger vehicle or a light trailer. Yep. Um, I did ask the auctioneer uh, as far as um, he, I had mentioned like that we may need to check with the city to see if there's a special events permit. He said that when he held an auction at another location, there wasn't one required for the other location. Because he did the HR, HRK building all the time. Yeah, right. How much other stuff, other than the treasure stuff, is going to be sold? Do you, I mean, do we have room in the building to do that? Yeah. Well, do you think there's a lot of stuff? There's a, there's a lot of stuff, but there's also, that's a okay. pretty decent it's, sized it's building pretty, and it's pretty okay. open. 3,100 square feet. Yeah. Uh, you just have to take out your aggression a little earlier. <laughs> we can make that happen. <laughs> you can show, show the mirrors on the wall. Oh, yeah, we're, that, we've already got that planned. The, the mirrors and all the furniture. You're going to have to take those down? Take those down. We, uh, I think our thought was maybe we would leave them up on the wall. They could build it the way it is, and then they could take them down. I like that. Because if we take them down and break them, then they'll... Yeah. Of course, if they, if they get hurt doing that and it's attached to our building, I don't know that that's a... Not a good idea. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that liability claim. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked the question. <laughs> May have to get the sledge in there sooner. We can draw the statement up on doing an indemnification uh, agreement for any bidder, any successful bidder. You've got to sign this as part of uh, your bidding process and then you get to take it down, and, and that's all done up front. So, so you'll, you want to do it that you'll way. be there to take care of that yeah. first? Yeah. Add for the, fee, I'd be happy to do that. For there goes that, that budget yeah. again. <laughs> well, good questions, and it, it sounds like it's agreeable to hold the auction at that site. Any other questions other than the, the liability the event? If you need anything else? God, looks like there's consensus to do that. Okay, that's good. They, that they, they're they going to start advertising real soon, so we needed to know for sure what yeah. location. So. Very good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. More time to get working on it. Okay. All right. Thank All right, you. So we're going to adjust you a little bit, if you don't mind. We'll have, we have a citizen concern that wants to make a okay. talk to the commission, and then we'll Yep. Uh, Are you ready for me? Yes, if you come over and see, uh, speak closely into the microphone. We sure. We have people online. Uh, but Terry, glad you could be here with us today. And um, what is your concern? So, yeah, first, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, so I'm going to read my concern, okay. if that's all right with you guys. All right. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for the... Actually, love those. <laughs> hate those. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to bring a concern to the committee today. My name is Terry Enns. I live at 48 Lakeshore Drive, Marion County Lake. First off, I wanna say for the record that I hold no ill will for the county, the sheriff's department, 
anyone who comes to visit or anyone who lives at Marion County Lake. I'm going to read my concern to show just in case anyone chooses to twist my words to make this any different than it is. I'm coming today only for, a con for consideration to help with the situation and that is all. When my wife and I moved to the lake three and a half years ago, we came with the understanding that this was a quiet bedroom community during the week that woke up during the camping season with lots of activity on the weekends. For us, the variety sounded fantastic. While we have found this to be mostly true, we did not realize that we also moved to a community that for some is a personal drag strip, a high-speed testing facility, a brake pad proving ground, and an autocross track. Moving to the lake was going to be the place that not only brought me closer to work, it seemed like the perfect place for retirement. But as I spend much of my free time outside, I found the lack of regard and respect to the posted speed limits, the lack of concern for safety of children, pets, and the people who walk the lake roads causes me to be anxious and frustrated all too often. Even at night while we're inside, we're interrupted almost nightly by a loud exhaust and a wide open throttle. Please don't get me wrong, I love hot rods and high performance, but it has its place. I'm convinced that there are really three different types of drivers as it relates to posted speed limits at the lake. There are those who follow the rules because it's just that, it's a rule. There are others who quite honestly, and I believe most fit into this category, that they just don't pay attention because they've just gotten used to not having to. And then there's the third group, who know there is virtually no chance of ever getting caught doing anything, and because of that, it's a great place to do whatever they want to do. I do realize and understand that the Sheriff's Department has an awful lot going on. I have complete respect for the challenges that they face every day, and I'm grateful for what they do. I also realize that the Lake community does very little to cause them headaches and that there are much bigger issues to deal with than what I am stating today. Honestly, I get it. So what I'm asking today that the Commission look into alternative ways to regulate the speed around the lake and as we come and go. To further reduce activity at the lake that causes frustration and the need for law enforcement to be present to regulate and enforce. They need to continue to keep doing all the other things that keep us safe. I also don't believe that the lake community should be entitled to anything different than any other neighborhood in any other community. Our roads should not be considered to be any different than any other road or street on anyone else's block where they live. I'm simply asking for help to remind people to respect others around them, no different than what they would expect around their home and the community where they live. I believe we should all do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, even when you think no one is watching, because somebody is always watching. Thank you for your time. I look forward to your thoughts and ideas and hopefully a call to action. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very well thought through and very well written. Uh, I guess my first question is what are some suggestions? Yeah, what do we do? I drove all the way over here today. What do you do? What do we do? I'm open, we're open for ideas. I, so, um, do speed bumps help? Well, I, got, I don't know if bumps work, I mean, but little, about little, dips though. Little bumps. So I, potholes. <laughs> you have to yeah. stop maintaining the road. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Sorry. I, no, it's all good. I've thought over and over and over about this. And, and uh, It's an inverted bump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I asked the sheriff last fall about this concern. And um, I didn't want to come here until I had talked to him about that. Mm -hmm. And he had genuine concern. And, and that's why I know he's busy. The deputies came out, but unfortunately they just made a pass around the lake and then they left and went on their way. I understand that. I do know that the couple days that they did choose to come out, they were pulling people over. I heard one yell. There was a lady yelling at the oh, <laughs> And uh, but it was like you know I was kind of going all right you know, and uh, but in, in with all that to be said, I I know this is a very very difficult topic, and I have talked to neighbors. I've talked to people that go flying past my house, and I've said, why? And that's where I got my information. I just asked them. And most of them just don't even think about it. 
and you know we have we have one posted speed limit sign coming into the lake and it's way beyond the uh, before you get to the hill before you come into the That's lake yes. 35 mile an hour yes. most people don't start braking until they're coming down the hill which is right next to my house and that's you know you, you get the you get all the noise and then of course leaving you're accelerating up the hill and I know I'm in the absolute worst place for this because I'm the very first house when you come to the stop sign on the left hand side so I get that big hill so some people like to go fast down it and coast up it some people go slow and fast up it and some people just like to go fast all the way through it but I, I, I wonder if speed dips would be something and would rumble strips big enough to make you really think about what you're doing coming into the lake. And I know people have complained all the way up, uh, up until almost where Colby Hett lives. And so you don't want a, a mile of rumble strips, obviously, that doesn't work. But I, 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 I just like to, maybe start trying some things. And I know anything's gonna come at a cost, and as I was just listening, mm -hmm. budgets are tight. Um, I do worry about some people <coughs> letting it get to them enough to where, I don't know, would somebody start enforcing martial law? <laughs> you know, I don't know, I, I would certainly hope not. But, um, yeah, I, I, that's, I, I'm, I'm coming for help something that we lowered the speed limit a few years ago out there really around the lake or coming into the lake coming into the lake no kidding it was you say it's 35 it's 35 what yeah. was it 40 it's or 45 45 or, 45 yeah. that was, was still, maybe in the last two or three years it's still 45 up there at the very no, it goes from 55 Sam's to road or what was that road uh dan drive dan drive yeah. it's 45 up there but it's not posted i think it's posted yeah I thought we were going to no, move. No, no. There's only one sign. I thought, I thought and a lot of times it's laying in the ditch after yeah, mowing to, season starts. Yeah, I thought we were going to move it got closer. It they, they wanted to, but nobody had. But it sounds like speed limit. It doesn't matter what it, speed limit. It so honestly yeah, doesn't matter what it's supposed to. What do you say? We're, we're all sitting here. We're all guilty. Because you read the stop sign. If you're not doing fits, every time you get top the hill, you're not trying. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm, That's, no, I, I, I'm I, guilty. Yeah, I appreciate you being honest. <laughs> I mean, and you do easily. I mean, it's not, it's not hard. It's not like you're yourself putting it down. Yeah. That's right. I'm the least guilty, man, which doesn't well, make any yeah, sense. Yeah, you are. Because yeah. I'm always gawking at what everybody's got going on. So I'm I'm about we won't go into my history of high school and the things that I can <laughs> be accused of here either. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'd agree. Pro I mean, it sounds logical to put some lo ro rumble strips in some Well, just be aware there's this. You have the noise from the room. So what? Yeah. yeah, it's significant. There's right? give and take, no matter what way we look. And, and biggest part of the problem, percentage-wise, is probably people that don't think. It's a lack of awareness. Yeah. The signs, the, 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 the speed checks. Those are the things that work the best for me. I drive a lot of miles. Oh, you mean the ones that when you're coming into Concordia, Concordia, speed is. When you're coming into Concordia, yeah, the sheriff time. actually. Yeah, the down here. There's one right out yeah. here by the football it, it, stadium. I, I, I do there. slow down. City's it, and way. I slow down. Yep. I mean, it. I asked the sheriff about that. He was going to try to round one up from either the uh, state highway patrol or from the city, and obviously didn't get that done. But um, you know, I said, well, that's that's the perfect thing. Set it out at a quarter mile, and everybody can get their top speed. You know, he <laughs> said, well, yeah, that's true, but it'll also be documented. I, I guess those document your speed so they can. They, they, can, they take a picture too. They can record that. I, I'm not sure how it works. I'm not sure. The better systems uh, have a, a loop oh. on them so that it's it's a video evidence. Oh. They also have a printout that goes to a computer system at the cities um, that uh, take every one that they had clocked. So it could be a profit center then. It could be used. <laughs> <laughs> well, they about their well, speeding ticket. It also has a little message. Put the dollar bill oh, right in the side of it yeah. so you can pay your fine yeah. too. Credit card. <laughs> Doesn't need more than this. Yeah. Or you just have your card on file, and as it goes by, it's. Cool it's cost you yeah. $100 now. Well, no. uh, uh, Bryce, did you have any input into the speeding? On the uh, he was talking about the speeding coming in out of yes. on, on Upland. Um, yes, we did move those signs based okay. on the commission approval. We moved them farther north, yes. I believe. 
uh, and the because uh, it's it drops to 35 coming in and goes to 55 on the way out. The problem you have is that area. The, the biggest problem that we face is uh, there's absolutely nothing that I and Road and Bridge or anybody else can do to slow people down if they don't want to slow down. That's right. I can put rum I can put rumble strips out there. I can put speed bumps. Whatever else is, if people don't want to slow down, they're not going to slow down. Other than enforcement. That's right. Um, you know we we um, we face that all over the place. That people say you know change the yield from a stop. Well, if you miss a, if you don't see the yield, you're not going to see the stop. Um, <laughs> It's Price, what's the, what are those costs with those very, the LED, they're, you don't have to wire them, they're, they're set up with some sure. solar, you know, they're just blinking really fast. I see them in Dixon County and you yeah. cannot miss those yeah. day uh, or night. The last time I know, the first one was $14,000. For just those blinking ones around yes. the stop sign? Yes, <laughs> because they're actually wired behind the sign, they actually have a battery pack on the inside yeah. of them and everything else. Wow. Now Martin did is making his own. Dixon County Superintendent is making his own, uh, mm -hmm. but he, he's got a deal set up with uh, some company that wires them for him, he puts them together, so he's dropped the cost down significantly. Um, those they, are effective. Well, one mm -hmm. of the things where, for those of you know up around on the east side of uh, uh, Abilene is Jeep Road. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where the he's, that's, he's got two of them there that have done a, a fantastic job. Yeah. But again, all you're doing is letting people, hey, we're gonna light this sign up, yeah. Again, if they don't want to pay attention to it, um, you know. And I heard him say that when the enforcement's out there, it's great. Yep. We we actually had this had this problem well, on the highway where the we enforcement, actually the enforcement didn't stop it. No. Just made them aware. Well, it made them aware, and they, they were getting soon, stopped and, still. Yeah, but I mean, as soon as as soon as they left, you know, uh, when I was in Cato, we actually talked about trying to see if we couldn't get uh, um, old state patrol cars put out on the highway or put out there. Plus. Put radar emitters. Come to find out, FCC didn't agree with us. But that's <laughs> wow. just something that, uh, unfortunately, that's just what you get. You've got people that are going to do that uh, up until their time they're caught, and most of them will say, "Eh, that's just one time." Yeah. But um, so, yeah, I, and like uh, rumble strips again. Um, rumble strips work great for a stopped condition. It doesn't slow people down. Yeah. Speed bumps, uh, most slow. people don't realize that if you hit speed bumps at 35, 40 miles an hour, it's just a da -da, you know. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it, I, I hate to say it's a game that we play, but. I think, I, the reason why I go for the, the, the radar, for the, road. the radar sign is because I, I genuinely believe most people want to do right and want to behave. They yeah. just get complacent. I I, act, I actually think that if you're interested, I can contact. I believe LTAP has a program that we may be able to get one of those. The I think the city also has one as well that they move around whatever mm -hmm. else. But again, that would at least tell people, yeah. um, you know, and and especially if if you're going over speed, they they send that really high mm -hmm. strobe light that will tend to wake people up as well. The one well I like the ones where you slow down slow and say down. thank you at yeah. 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 Yes. I really like those. Yes. Because they're flight. Feel better. The flight. Yes. Um, you awesome. can program it to say whatever you want. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, but like I said, and and, and honestly, uh, Dave, you're right. The only way we'll slow people down is to put a curve in the road. That creates another problem is if they go too fast, they run off the road and oh yeah yeah. So I mean it's it's uh, we could put a roundabout out there in the middle of somewhere. I would ask <laughs> rather than going that route, I'd ask commission consensus to allow Bryce to at least look into yeah the radar. at least explore it and bring us back a number. And I don't know if it's maybe Jeff does as well right. through the I mean, that's, the sheriff's you have a couple of for the county. It's a move them around. Well, yeah, and I mean, that would be a prime spot for well, it. And then wherever it can do, that's far less expensive, but we have to join in the system. And I don't know. Harvey County did it, Frederick <coughs> County, Butler County did it too. Those flock cameras. They are, you see them all the time as you're driving to Wichita. You don't see them, but they're there. Yeah. Okay. And they, um, uh, the, the flock system, it's much less expensive for one on a pole. You do not really see it. I've gone by them for two years, didn't know they were there until some of the cities that I work with got them. Um, and that, it records everybody. It's Big Brother, but every car that goes by, it registers the, uh, the tag, the time, 
speed, and they, they've been catching all kinds of, of uh, people who've done burglaries to stolen cars to whatever steps. And they've got it, yeah, and they've got it now in, in those four counties. Mm -hmm. It's all the state, but I so Marion County didn't have any. Can law enforcement issue citations? Yes. They, they issue so citations they, they just all the get time. A, the sheriff's office will get a printout, and yep. then they can just mail out. Yep. No different than our... Uh, uh, Big cities are doing that. Well, not just that, but our... Uh, uh, I'm trying to say your church bike. Thank bike. you. Oh, does sure. it all the time. Right. You forget, uh, to, you forget to stop the thing you're told. Yeah, they've got your picture and they, the big group tag and let you know what you know. Well, then I, I guess I would ask for consensus to explore both of those and bring back information. Sure. It'd be expensive. And, and all expensive. we're asking is information. But you're yeah. saying it's cheaper than It is line? cheaper. Those vlog cameras are on the whole. It's about that big around. Um, and the overall cost, Halstead is closest to us that have them. Harvey County, and then I think Newton put them in. <coughs> they were 3,500, something like that, 35 to 4. But then the monitoring, I'm guessing, is. That's really pretty easy to do. They've got it all set up through their 911 system in that particular county. Hmm. Interesting. And they, every meeting, somebody comes in, one of the chiefs comes in with all this. We have 53,000 um, you know, registered passes past this thing. Every one of them, they have the tag number, the speed, and all that. Mm -hmm. They pay for themselves the first month. Then. They what? They pay for themselves oh, the yeah. first month. Well, even if you have a vehicle <laughs> stolen or whatever, you know. Yeah, they've been apprehended, also been especially Sedgwick County in Wichita, has become an incredibly valuable tool for them. I guess I would ask Bryce to work with uh, Jeff, the sheriff, and explore those options. Yeah, Brad can send us information. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'll get you that. All right. Thank, well, thank you very you. much. I appreciate your time and consideration. Yeah. And uh, if there's anything I can do as a citizen, <laughs> well, let me know. Just don't get caught yourself. underneath that pole. Well, <laughs> one thing I've thought about, I don't know if you want this or not. What's funny is when they were patrolling yeah. out there, some some of the people, first one, yeah, we're we drumming. did not have this conversation. <laughs> well, anyway, some thank of the people you. Out there wanted people to slow down. And, and they ended up getting pulled over and then admitting, well, oh, that was one of the ones that wanted to get out of here. <laughs> that did cross my mind. There's been so. a lot of talk over the years of Marion County Lake needs to be incorporated. Oh, really? <laughs> have you have you heard of anything of that lately? So have I heard the rumor, but I didn't hear anything more that that had been considered at one time or another. Oh, it's, it's been I think it's up. been a recommendation right? from the commission. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and nobody wants and it. Just, but nobody wants it because it's going to be more taxes, which means that you would have your right to have your own officer and stuff like that mm. out there. So, a little court system. Yeah, your own system. I mean, but anyway, yeah. it's, and yes, you guys do pay a different rate on taxes right. out there. Right, yep. Notice that. Like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. But, um, but anyway, that's that's something that you know to sanity comes with a price, though. Yeah. And yeah. so, wow. if that's something that wow. <laughs> if yeah. that's something that works and helps, I mean, it's not yeah. commission can't do it. Yeah. It would have to be a mm -hmm. citizen. Oh, is that right? Citizens. That's a citizen. Yeah. 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 Well, we've always yeah. approached. I can't it. imagine that would go over very well, but I certainly what? see the benefit. I see the people that. I can understand that you go both ways. But it's probably the way once the road fixed now. Yeah. And the road's unfixable. It was real interesting how when when we were trying, I was trying to figure out how to do some work in my ditches to clean some stuff up. Because I got that big rain a year and a half ago, whenever it was, wiped out a brand new driveway of mine. It took out, the water didn't go the way it was supposed to. And so we were challenged. And so I had to ask for what I can do. And there's there's enough confusion as to what side of the road who takes care of yeah. what you know yeah. just that in general was enough to confuse a person so I, I can see the phone company yeah yeah, yeah. we got it all squared away all right thank, thank you thank you y'all have a great day thank you all right Bryce you're back it's like a bad penny uh, thank you. As far as road and bridge stuff, we've, we're over in the process of working on rebuilding 180th and Jade. Um, since uh, 180th is going to be the unofficial detour for Ag Service, so we went in there and rebuilt all that. We're going to haul some rocker to get that going hopefully this week, depending on what happens to the weather. 
Uh, been putting down a lot of sand on, on good rock, rock roads we had already. Um, so we've been getting ahead of that. We actually feel very comfortable where we are with rock now in comparison to where we have been. So, um, Colbert, uh, Colt Foreman was off last week, so he's back to putting three culverts in today. Um, so that should help again, uh, obviously get the place ordered. Um, so uh, the cost share uh, was due Thursday. I finished getting that together probably Wednesday at the latest. So that'll be going. Um, other than that, still taking care of business, having some issues with some motor graders, but don't know what it is. It's one of those things. But um, one of the things, and I don't know if Isaac said anything about it, um, they had talked about trying to find a rental um, stump drinker for that stuff out of Peabody. Um, I don't know what's going on, but nobody has one. I talked to United Rentals and everybody else, and did, what? You find this one? one is Heston. Heston. The general really? store there has one. Like to go in front of a skid steer? I don't know if this is, I think it's this is a self propelled. Right. Yeah. right. And that's what we were looking for, is because you know we've got the we've got the the, the skid steer and the hydraulics and everything else. Yeah. Um, I did find. I check up the place up in Kip. Yeah, where? Kip. They, they they make all kinds of skid steer attachments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't well, think of what they're the name. Great, used to be great things. I don't know very much a kit, but I mean, yeah. you should be able to find it. It's like I said, I was, I was just shocked that also. United Rentals says, no, we don't carry them anymore. I thought, yeah. geez, if any, I mean, they have, they have everything. millions of Probably a maintenance nightmare. Well, I would imagine yeah, they are, but you know, but you know, that's that's what you pay the rental for, for, too. So. Our, our grinder is for, we got one for streets, right? I mean, so we got one for, grind, for grinding streets, but then we also have the forestry mulcher. But the forestry mulcher is not meant for one, I mean, it's to go. 80 inches wide. But uh, I did contact Bobcat uh, out of Wichita. He said they didn't have one, but uh, he started checking things around and they found one in Garden City um, that was basically on demo. And so he said, well, if, he, if I can get it off a of demo and get it back here, you guys could try it. Well, talking with Isaac, between the trees that we have just down here on Peabody Street, and Isaac said he's contacted guys out there that said $750 to $1,000 per stump to remove that it would actually, I think, behoove us if we wanted to go ahead and get one. Now this demo, they're gonna bring it back to Wichita, go over it and everything else. He said it looks brand new, not a problem. Um, he would, they would sell it to us for 7,950 bucks. He said new is about 10,5 to 1,100. This is an attachment? For yes, it was on the skid steer, would we'll work with our high flow and things to that effect. So I said, you know, between Isaac and I, I think we could sure split the, split that difference and at least have something here. Because, you know, the other thing is if he goes out and, and does that and he does a whole bunch of them at one time, or we could have this available so if there's something comes up, boom, we could go do it. So I guess, um, and like I said, I. Um, uh, Bobcat down there has always treated treated us well. I don't think there'd be any kind of problem with it. And then we at least have that to stand by as well. So I don't know if you guys have any. You know, two, three, no, it's been four or five years ago, over there in the north, north of Hillsboro, uh, the gas line coming across <coughs> from the country there, KPNL, then we'd buy it and go into Hillsboro. But coming across the Federal Reservoir lands there, we have a right away out there, and they had a high flow skid steer that it chewed everything up. But I don't know whether it did the stumps or not. Okay. Uh, I guess I could ask that guy. I know you talking about out. that alleyway back behind French Creek? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Behind my brother's place. Yeah. Which. They just they just yeah. mowed the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if it did the stumps. I, quick cut it. Oh yeah, I mean, it looked it, like a swather went back there and yeah, had an angry I, teeth. That was my phone is a big machine. But yeah. it, it's flat hummed when you when it was running. It's yeah. humming and something here. Well, and, and this this one used to only have a twenty seven inch blade, so that's going to be a like decent sized blade. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, I just wanted to get your input on it. Um, I think it would be worth what's the cost about. compared to that? The, the one of those claws that you put on the ex I've seen those claws on the excavator. There's two teeth like that. You, Put down and well, pull the, it out of the ground. What we're talking about down here is yeah, basically the Peabody Street utility line. Yes, there's fiber. there's a uh, an AT T fiber line that right next to there. So right. you're saying we don't want to mess with roots? Uh, yeah. It would be cheaper for us to buy this 
attachment yeah. that would to go back and fix Splice it. The fiber. And, and unfortunately, that's what we deal with is, is we do whatever we can. In fact, is that's the reason why we left that stretch. Once we got away from that line, we took out everything. But we're just afraid of, of those utilities. Yeah. And the problem with utilities, they won't tell you exactly how deep they are, uh, and they're not required to. They so have, they have range. Yep, well, basically, two, they put a line. You got to work three feet either side. Yeah, so it means you yeah. got six feet. So, yeah. So, yeah. so, so anyway, lights tend to cross the line. Yeah, and of course, that's the. Those would say the reason we don't tell you the exact line, or we've got that buffer, is, is we're still dealing with mechanical piece of equipment to tell us what that information is. Yeah. You can now, mark it on either side. Yes. And it could be off by a yep. foot too. Yeah. You know those mulching machines that they make. They'll take, they'll take a stump right down the level of the ground. Well, and again, that's we've got the forestry mulcher for the skid steer, but it's not meant, what, number one, it's, it's not meant to go clear the ground, it's not meant for the bigger stumps. That's what this thing is with the carbide tips. So, because we we do take trees down with it, but you get down to those big, especially hedges. Man, that, that old front end just uh, shakes when you're trying to get them down, and then you go into dirt, you're dulling your teeth and everything else as well. So, <coughs> Commission interest interest in pursuing the stump grinder. Is that be, between both departments, even if we split the cost or whatever? Right? I just, you know, only ten trees. But so, yeah, <laughs> you know. Okay. So, um, do you want to go ahead and take an action or on it or wait to see what it comes back at? Yeah. See what's. You're going to try it. See what the demo does. Yeah, he told me that. That's what he told okay. me. That we're was Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he goes, cost to keep it. Fair enough. Yeah. And he said, like he goes, if you can. demo it and keep it, you're not charged for it. Okay. You know, Good enough. So, yeah. They're, they, well, I'll tell you what. The, the, the salesman that I talked to is the same one that sold us our skid steer. Okay. And he actually went back because he says, they were just sitting out there, oh, we don't really care about it. And he said, look, I got somebody interested in this thing. And called his boss, and the boss says, yep. So it was supposed to be back in Wichita on Friday. Okay. So, very good. Yeah. Don't but, uh, west. <laughs> yeah. But uh, other than that, I didn't really have anything unless you guys did. So, okay. um, not Peabody Street, uh, the east side over there mm -hmm. from. What's your plan there to do on that road? Going uh, from the elevator south? No, going from uh, south Dollar General. Dollar General going south. Oh, yeah. I want to go in and rebuild that. I got to finish off that fence. Do we have some hard rock? Yes. Um, the other thing is um, we were waiting to get that pole moved from Evergy. We got that moved. Yeah. So we got to go in and remove a couple, tree. tree, couple trees and stuff in there. But yeah, that's, get that done as well. Especially, and I don't know, I haven't seen any more, but that, um, that uh, RV park or whatever else was going to go in down there. Yeah, and I, I haven't started nothing yet. Yeah. That's what I, I but No, that was, that was the plan. Yeah, so. Do we have hard rock waiting on us at Florence? We have some available. Okay. Yeah. Did we order it? Yes. Uh, Did we pay I, for I it? Talk, huh? Did we pay nope. for it? They, they bring it in and they, it sits there until we load it. I contact, or Sam's talked to me two, three weeks ago about it. I, he said, yep, we still want to haul it. And so. And I know they won't sell it. <laughs> Bachelor, yeah. they, they won't sell it. Some, some right county now, commissioners yeah. requested that that be used for <laughs> So I'm sorry, but landowners don't get any of that. No. Yeah. No. Well, and, and again, that's, you know, I feel fortunate. I, Nothing to use you, but I feel fortunate that we just it's it's available there for us to use because obviously we can go through that amount of product. I, I didn't know if we ordered it whether we should pay for it. That's why. How many miles worth of it do we have? Well, uh, he I think he said they're between 4,500 and 5,000 tons. So if we were to turn around and put 500 tons on each mile, they'd give us what about nine miles, ten miles. Yeah, but you don't put it on as heavy. Well, but over a mile, 500 tons over a mile, it really isn't a lot of rock as long as you've got base rock below it. But so oh, that would be a good that'd be a good road to try. I mean, I think yeah, because there's well, not high speed on it. Yeah, and I and obviously um, I've been trying to find you know people to come back and help us run loaders and or uh, tractors stuff like that because honestly, I'd like to start rebuilding roads if we can. Um, Sometime between now and we start doing the blade patches, so that's where we can use that as well. So, all okay. right, all right. Thank you, Bryce. And I've seen your sand down too. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <coughs> all right, Brad. 
What do you have for us today? Um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's do the executive sessions first, so the most pressing. Um, first one's for litigation, 30 minutes. Yeah, pending or Actually, okay. uh, I move we recess into executive session in order to discuss litigation pursuant to KSA 75-4319B, item 2, consultation with our attorney, attorney-client privilege with the commission, Brad and Tina, for 30 minutes, 2.20 to 3... 40? Second. Yeah. 340. Second by Commissioner Gary. Wait, 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 wait. 240. Oh, but he said 30 minutes. Yeah, Do you 30 want minutes. to take the full 30? That's yes, 50. I'm sorry. 250. 250. Okay. I didn't say to help me with my math. Uh, yeah. Mr. Rector. <laughs> 250. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Gary. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carried by a vote back at 250. Start doing my math. Okay, I'm going to be gone. Okay. Here. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, we're out of executive session. No decisions made. We'll shift gears for an executive session. I move that we recess an executive session in order to discuss property acquisition pursuant to KSA 75 4319B. Item six, preliminary discussion, acquisition of real estate with Commission Brad and Tina for 10 minutes from 2.50 to 3 o'clock. Take a 301 because it's 2.51. Second by Commissioner Gary. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed aye. nay. Motion carried. Be back at 301. What's not to blow it up? Yeah. This conference will now be recorded. Executive session, no decisions made. What do you have next? Uh, last thing today is the um, follow up on one of Bryce's items. You'll recall we had redrawn or, or prepared a, uh, an alternative kind of a description on an EO1, and then our human resources person thought perhaps we didn't need to do that uh, and went to, and I think made an offer to an individual as just a laborer. He chose not to proceed with that, so we can cross that one off. Because okay. uh, I asked him this morning, I had not heard about that until now. Okay. That, that's going to be a moot point because the, the gentleman's not prepared to take the position. Anything else for Brad? That's it. Anything else for Brad? So too, I agree with you. The hook, the hook exists. It's just <laughs> way deep for for the next six to seven. They did talk about parking lane this morning, though. Yeah. Some sort of no arm agreement, oh. like well. uh, for the storage space, and then he has those two RVs that he still has needs to get um, some sort of authority to get, get to rid sell. of mm -hmm. for like, payment. Yeah. With Isaac, okay. Yeah. So storage items. The ones that have been there have not been paid. Yes. And then we need to have a written lease agreement. That's what we talked about. I mentioned last yeah. time. Yeah. That's going to be its own item. Yeah. Because there's a number of different leases yeah. out there that are yeah. floating around that all need to be revamped yeah. and we, more uniformly put together. We told him to add it to his list. Of, I call him. Yeah. Appreciate Tina. The, the, the two RVs that have been there over time, they do need to get going. We need to get that expedited. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can we? Can we turn those into goose hunting blinds so that we can get rid of the geese out there? Which are the actual Then we get sound complaints. And potentially create very much like on the 13 mile road uh, several you know, free range chicken coops. Uh, out of them. <laughs> Seems to be working well with old school dusters. Well, so that's, that's, that's actually not in our county, and I don't know personally. 
Say that now. Yeah. They used to say it about us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Um, a five minute on personnel evaluation. Sure. Okay. Uh, I move that we recess the executive session in order to discuss personnel performance pursuant to KSA 75 4319B, item one personal matters and non elected personnel performance. Mm -hmm with the commission and Tina for five minutes from 306 to 311. Second. Second by Commissioner Gary. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carried to be back at 311. That should be the last executive. Unless we go. I'm not. Okay. I've got a meeting at four o'clock. That was what I had on the agenda. Okay. You've got something. I don't know. I may maybe sticking around to wait on some fuses, but other than that, I was going to drive north tonight. So, okay. I'll just keep putting it back on the agenda. We'll come in early on the 27th. Yeah. Well, let's get into our executive we're before we're out of time. We keep coming in early. That's the goal. Of, but it's just a good time for it. Well, now be recorded. All the way back. Okay, we are out of executive session. No decisions made. We, in line with our upcoming schedule, on Monday the 27th, we will meet at 10.30 to do, go through, review employee evaluations. A regular session will start at 12.30. Friday the 31st will be payday at 9 o'clock. And at, that, at this point, unless there's some emergency business, it will just be payday. And we will then still have regular commission meeting on Monday, April <coughs> 3rd. Commission comments for we adjourn. Not. I move we adjourn. Second by Commissioner Gehring. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried by a vote. We are adjourned. Safe travel.